coming up this Saturday from Manchester, the UK at the AO Arena on the undercar of Joyce versus Parker. We will see the return of Amanda Serrano as she takes on Sarah Mafu in a featherweight title unification match featuring the titles of the WBO, the WBC, IBO, and IBF titles. This unification match has been a while in the mixing. Serrano, who is coming off of a decision loss to Katie Taylor, had been looking to definitely unify for undisputed at featherweight. Though she moved up to fight Taylor, she acquitted herself admirably. Many people felt she won the fight against Taylor. And it's on the table for a rematch in the future sometime next year. But in the meantime, she has unfinished business at featherweight. Mafu is the one that she really wants because she wants those other titles. The thing about Amanda Serrano is as compact as she is, the fighter who is 33 years old, she has a record of 42 and two with one draw with 30 KOs. She is a fighter that gets people out of there. She boxes very well. She has tremendous placement with her punches and she has great stamina, is always in top shape. Serrano is dangerous in there and many fighters, including Fahou, thinks that Serrano is dangerous enough to stay away from, but now is the time to step it up. When we look at women's boxing today, we're seeing the skill levels increase. There was a time when we kind of cringed when we watched some of the women's action because they weren't as technically proficient as the men. Those days are gone. The women boxers of today, some of them, are so technically proficient they can put the men to shame. The men who've cut corners, those who haven't put in the work that they need to be the best that they can be. Mahu is one who is also very good at punch placement. After observing some film study of the lady because I wasn't familiar with her, I noticed that she boxes very well. She has decent balance. She likes to put her punches together. She will work behind the jab. She parries punches very well. She looks to land a right hand. She throws the right hand with a lot of effort. Sometimes it looks like she pushes her punches, but she makes the efforts to really do something in there. She's a little bit mobile. She doesn't just stand in front of someone. She'll step around, give an angle, pump the jab, and throw combinations. I like what I've seen from her. I've watched about three of her matches. As she competes, one of the things that she's noted to do is try to get you with that right hand. That seems to be her go-to punch. Sometimes she falls in with it, but her effort is definitely on point. And she does this thing with her hands where she parries punches. That's kind of old school. I need to look up her trainer to find out where she picked up these subtleties because you used to see it from fighters back in the 50s and the 40s. She's got very minimum head movement and that doesn't bode well because 
Serrano is definitely a head hunter. When this woman steps into her punches, it reminds me of Julian Jackson. She really punches with authority and power. You kind of wonder sometimes when you see a person of her stature, how she's able to land with such power. Now, Sarah's record is 11 and 0 with three KOs. She has decent boxing technique. She faints very well. I've watched her and noticed that that works pretty good for her. But against Serrano, this may not be a successful ploy because Serrano will step in with intense power punches and she will place them. I could actually see Serrano breaking her down to the body. As she's gone and been known to do, she can get the body work in there and really hurt her opponents. She didn't do it against Katie Taylor as much and it could have been because the event. I do believe Amanda got caught up in the event a little bit against Taylor, but she still did enough damage to Taylor that had her banged up a little bit in the face. I expect the same against Mahfoud, but this is the thing about will Mahfoud be strong enough to take it? She has a skill set. She can box, but will she be able to take it? I have no doubt that Amanda can take it. Matter of fact, the last two rounds against Katie were thrilling and they were going for it toe to toe, blow for blow. I don't think that my food was, would want to engage with Amanda like that, but you just never know. Sometimes a person has to be challenged or a challenge be placed before them before they're able to answer that call or not. And this is what we'll find out when these ladies meet up. This fight could steal the show from the main eventers, Joyce and Parker. And the reason would be because of the caliber of fighter that's facing off on that night. I believe that these two ladies will bring it and they will perform it's a nice contrast of styles with Mahfoud being a boxer who uses the jab, a little bit of dainty footwork, faints, and throws her punches in combinations. But Serrano looking to headhunt, bang her up out of there, utilize a lot of aggression and power punching. This is her fight. And I believe she's going to make Mahfoud fight back. And that's where she's gonna catch her. Think about it. When a championship caliber fighter, such as Serrano, smells blood in the water, they usually find the exact means of finishing and closing out the show. And I don't think that there is a better finisher in the sport of boxing from the women's division than Amanda Serrano. She really enjoys fighting. She's often said she loves to get punched in the face first before the fight starts because it's at that moment that she knows that she's in a fight and then it gets her juices flowing. That reminds me a little bit of Evander Holyfield he was the same way. Once you tagged him a good, a good shot, Evander was now in the fight and awakened and ready to roll. What are your thoughts when it comes to these women performing on this undercard? I do believe women have taken such a step forward in boxing presently that we're going to see more of these quality championship caliber fights on big cards and they are they have arrived and they need to be respected.
These are my thoughts. I'd like to know what yours are. Leave comments and let's discuss. Will Amanda be able to pull this off and become an undisputed featherweight champion? I think it's in the cards for her as long as the opportunities are on the table and it begins Saturday night. Those are my thoughts. This is Storm the B-Man. Shout out to the mighty LDBC and Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. When we talk about Amanda Serrano, she's definitely the personality type and performing type of fighter that boxing needs. She's class and she can rumble. She's always exciting, never in a bad fight. And she gives her best coming in in supreme condition and preparation for each bout. This is all I have for you at this time. Until the next time we speak, peace to everyone out there and everyone please remain safe.